Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, KB5055629 to insiders in the release preview channel. And because it rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 15th, I would suggest that either next week, Tuesday, the update will roll out, or if we don't see it next week, it'll roll out in that very last week of the month on starting Tuesday, the 29th. And that also applies to Windows 10 and Windows 11 24H2. I have posted on um, those updates in preview. I'll leave both of those linked down below and in the end screen. Now with this next optional update, we are getting five new features for version 23H2. And all the new fixes and features I'm going to mention now, according to Microsoft, will be rolling out gradually. So you may see some of these at the get-go. You may not when this becomes available in the stable version. Now, the first new feature is for Narrator. I'm just going to mention this. Microsoft says you can keep track of what Narrator has spoken and access it for quick reference with a new feature called Speech Recap, where you can quickly access spoken content and follow along with live transcription. And Narrator is an accessibility feature in the OS. And then there's a new phone link feature, which we have spoken about previously on the channel, where mobile devices now get direct access to cross-device features from the Start menu, which is also known as the Windows 11 Companion or the Start Menu Companion. So as an example, Microsoft says you can access phone calls, SMS messages, access your photos, or share content between your mobile devices and your PC. So that's also rolling out to 24H2. So that seems to be arriving um, as a new feature on Windows 11 across the board. And then the next new feature is listed as new, but it's more for web developers with Microsoft mentioning that web developers can use the existing content to create interactive widgets that can be added to multiple widgets surfaces. And then for File Explorer, we get one new feature and one fix, where Microsoft says pivot-based curated views are rolling out on File Explorer's homepage that will support ease of access of Microsoft 365 content on Windows. And then the fix is they've improved the performance of extracting zip files, particularly in the case where you're unzipping a large number of small files. And then the fifth and final new feature is for Windows Share, which we've also covered previously on the channel, where Microsoft says you can make last minute edits, such as cropping, rotating and adding filters to images shared through the Windows Share window. So this will be available directly in that window, which I actually think if you are sharing a lot of files or images, this is a nice move in the right direction. And then the Start menu gets two fixes. The first is apparently you couldn't use touch gestures to view the list of apps pinned in the Start menu. So that's been fixed. And then the second fix is the sign out and more options in the start menu account manager might not be visible with the with increased text size so those are small niggly issues that hopefully will be sorted out when the update arrives in stable and then for the taskbar there's a fix where if you use the windows key and t Using the arrow keys after pressing the Windows key and T to navigate through your taskbar apps. Apparently the arrows were moving in the wrong direction for Arabic and Hebrew display languages. So that's been addressed. So those are all the fixes and new features rolling out gradually. And then we've got a couple of fixes on a normal rollout, which means everyone will get them. I'm just going to mention one or two for the purpose of this video. The first one is actually quite important because it addresses a known issue. Um, Microsoft says the update addresses an issue affecting the USB and HCR controller and all devices that connect using a USB port 
on PCs based on Intel's newest CPU architecture. The built-in USB camera won't work with Windows Hello Sign-In unless you manually disable enhanced sign-in security, also known as ESS. So basically the problem was that if you create a Windows Hello container, it might prevent you from using ESS after you upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2. So that's quite an important fix. And there are just two fixes regarding Xbox. The first, Microsoft says, addresses an issue affecting Xbox Elite wireless controllers with certain firmware versions where the keyboard might not function and displays an error indicator in the device manager. And the second one, the driver verifier stops responding during gamepad controller driver certification affecting Windows hardware quality labs testing. So that's more or less, guys, what to expect in the next optional update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. And when it does make its way to stable in the next couple of days, the build will be bumped up to 22631.5261 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.